Good evening, this is Suniti. Today is the 26th March 2012 and I'm going to record the repotting of the dendrobium plant. I have a dendrobium which I've owned for about a year and a half. It has bloomed twice, uh, it bloomed in the month of August and then the blooms died away later on in the uh, late winter. So those are the blooms, now dead, you can see, and, uh, the stalks uh, and the dead flowers. I'll just zoom in on that. And as you can see, this is a dendrobium that does not lose its leaves all through the year. So uh, what I'm going to do is repot uh, because it is now very, very crowded in this pot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make up the mixture, potting mixture myself. And what I've decided to use is uh, uh, fine bark, sphagnum moss, and leeka. So here's what we're going to use. As you can see there, I've got some fine bark. Bring it close. Yes, you can see fine bark. Some leeka. That's clay pellets. Mm, you can see that. And sphagnum moss. You can see here, this is sphagnum moss. So it is like this, it is long, long fibered. So this all has to be soaked and that's what I'm going to do. Soak it and then mix it up and put it in this pot. You can see here, this has a, something at the bottom for the air. So the, it won't be compacted, the mixture won't be compacted. There's lots of holes, and I'm wondering whether I should actually make slits on the side uh, for more aeration. But I may not need it. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so I'm going to soak all my mixture of the bark, leeka, and moss, and uh, see, uh, and then I'll show you how I'm going to put it in that pot. The dendrobium is there, soaking in the bucket. And uh, once the roots are nicely sloped, it takes about 10-15 minutes, it goes, it's going to go in that pot. Alright, continuing with repotting of dendrobium. So here we are, uh, this is now soaked. As you can see, it has come out of the bucket. The roots are softer, more malleable, and I'm going to just unpack the peanuts and the fiber. The roots are attached to it, so I have to do it very gently without breaking the roots. Look at that. There's quite a lot of packing peanuts in there. Get that out. Let's have a look. There. It's out. It's out. Take away the steak. And what have we got here? Let's get rid of all the coconut fiber. This is coconut husk. I think the medium they have used is coconut husk. So I'm just going to take it all out bit by bit. Okay. And then wait for the roots. Uh, see how they turn out. Okay. And in the meanwhile, I have my potting medium soaking. Mm -hmm. This is the bark and the mixture of moss, bark and leeka. Okay. So I'll get back to you when I'm fully done. All right.